McConnell Dowell is a multidisciplined and highly skilled Australian construction company with vast experience in highly complex construction projects. Recently, the company won the procurement and construction of a major wharf extension for Hammersley Irons Parker Point facility at Dampier, Western Australia. Hammersley Iron had a dream to significantly increase the capacity of its Parker Point iron ore loadout wharf. The capacity would increase from 62 million tonne to 95 million tonne each year. Demand for iron ore has been unprecedented and it's a race internationally to see which companies can secure extra market share by rapidly increasing their output capacity. The massive construction job at Dampier would require an extra 450 metres of wharf to be built, 18 new dolphins, 1,095 metres of ore conveyor and the placement of a new 706 tonne shiploader. The improved wharf will allow two 180,000 metric tonne ships to be loaded at one time. The $140 million construction job would require a peak on-site workforce of 300 people. The scope of works required a company with extensive experience in marine and shore-based construction. The winning company needed to excel in the management of construction elements which include marine, civil works, structural steel works, electrical and mechanical engineering. Few companies would have the skills and the expertise to lead such a large-scale and diverse construction project. McConnell Dow has a proven track record and was the natural choice. An Australian company which is sought after all over the world for its construction know-how and engineering excellence. A company which continues to search for new and innovative construction techniques to provide both an increase in quality plus a more cost-effective approach. Initially, work began in January of 2004. The first part of the construction process required a new wharf to be constructed from the end of the existing wharf. A stick approach was adopted for the first 230 metres, which means each piece of the new wharf was put together on site. The final 220 metres of topsides were installed as prefabricated modules by a heavy lift ship. Piles were initially driven into position using both a floating crane barge and an independent piling frame. Pile caps were added along with steel framing and finally precast concrete decking to complete the main structure of the wharf. McConnell Dow's marine experience was soon apparent. McConnell Dow's strengths has obviously been the, mar the marine aspect of the work. With four barges utilised to act as floating work platforms, each with heavy lift cranes on board. The barges were towed down from Singapore, as was much of the heavy lift equipment sourced for the duration of the construction process. All equipment needed for construction from large piles, scaffolding, work materials, steel framework and concrete blocks all had to be transported to Dampier by barge or truck. Then much of it was put in place with cranes positioned on the floating barges. Even crew were ferried across the water to work platforms by dedicated tender vessels. The job was made more complex because the construction of the upgrade could not disrupt iron ore loadout operations. Construction would have to work around existing conveyors, the shiploader and scheduled ship movements within the port. The job demanded a skillful and experienced management team. Managers at McConnell Dow led the way, ensuring there was no disruption. A remarkable achievement given the large-scale operation of the construction project and the highly demanding loadout schedule already in place at the wharf. It was vital to ensure Hammersley Iron could continue to meet its delivery commitments to its existing iron ore customers. So we've had to modify our plans to work in with them, keep the ore flowing. Uh, we've managed to 
achieve all that and I think everyone's happy with the outcome. It required a flexible management approach and close logistical contact with the client and other contractors to ensure there would be no disruption. A site office building was quickly erected to house many of the key support personnel required for such a large project. The construction workforce was expanding rapidly and the administration and logistics required to support such a large team was now in place. Local laydown areas were filling up with materials and precast concrete and prefabricated steel components. Steelwork was manufactured in McConnell Dow's Batam Steelworks facility. Concrete precast components were manufactured by McConnell Dow in Perth, Western Australia. The procurement of these construction materials was a part of McConnell Dow's construction solution. Prefabrication of large heavy module steelwork was also completed in Fremantle, Western Australia. The prefabricated parts were then shipped to site, where they were initially stockpiled before being loaded on barges to be used on the construction project. Piling was a very important part of this expansion project. In all, 288 were needed to be driven into place. The piles were up to 39 metres long and supplied as 700 and 1200 millimetre outside diameter steel tubes which were toughened and treated for marine use. Each weighed around 23 tonnes. It would take more than 16 months from driving the first pile to the last. The average pile was driven 8 to 10 metres deep into the ocean floor. The piles provide the foundation for the wharf structure, which needs to be able to withstand 1,000 tonne loads from the shiploader. It was vital each pile was correctly positioned. McConnell Dow's meticulous attention to detail and engineering excellence demanded each pile meet stringent checks. Piles were put in place by cranes and then driven with a crane-based frame and hydraulic piling hammer. This option was the preferred method because piles could be driven even in rough weather conditions. As piles were put in place, an army of welders worked to complete pile caps and steel framework connections. Scaffolders worked tirelessly to make passageways safe for workers. A night shift was initiated to help deal with environmental factors and to keep the project on track to meet its tight completion date. Searing northwest temperatures reaching 50 degrees along with rough weather conditions made progress more difficult. Waters here are unprotected and even though sea conditions on some days were picture perfect, other days heavy swell and large tidal movements caused difficulty. Many workers preferred working in the relative comfort of evening temperatures. Ten months into the project, an opportunity for McConnell Dow's innovation emerged. The current stick method of construction had slowed. Now it was time to change the construction process so dramatically it would radically transform the project and ensure tight deadlines were met. Base structures such as piling, piling caps and framework continued but now 400 tonne modules of steelwork would be prefabricated in Perth. The project would now proceed in modularised pieces. A large modules of about 400 tonne of steelwork were prefabricated in Perth, painted, surveyed, everything ready to go. The decision made a significant difference. Module pieces of 54 metres in length and weighing up to 400 tonnes were loaded and sent to site. Then the large modularised pieces were put together which allowed the rapid completion of the wharf. In just a week, the wharf grew from 230 metres in length to 450 metres. The modularised construction process needed expert planning with tolerances of just a few millimetres. 
Now much of the base construction was in place, it was time for the mechanical engineers to come to the fore. 1,095 metres of ore conveyor needed to be constructed. Electrical work and painting was also well underway, along with fittings, railing and other construction, which was needed to bring the job to completion. Next, the 706-tonne shiploader arrived from Henderson, Western Australia. Hammersley Iron had purchased the unit, but it was up to McConnell Dowell to oversee the installation of the new loader. It was a complex exercise, with little margin for error. Now, with the shiploader in place, it wasn't long before McConnell Dowell had conveyors completed ready for operation. McConnell Dow have successfully gathered the right materials, the right people and the right plant and equipment to complete this large-scale, highly complex construction project on schedule and on budget. Now, McConnell Dow will lead the way in a second phase of the expansion, extending the wharf another 140 metres and installing new conveyor systems, plus upgrading the existing 875 metres of ore conveyors. McConnell Dow Excellence, innovation, multidisciplined, Australian construction giant. This video presentation prepared with excellence by All New Vision.